Janice Dyson, born in 1983, is popularly known as the wife of the controversial late technology mogul and founder of the McAfee antivirus, John McAfee. She worked as an escort before getting married to McAfee in 2013. However, the authorities arrested her husband in Barcelona on criminal tax evasion charges and Spain's national court approved the order to send him back to the United States. His wild life has drawn media interest into the lives of those closest to him. Before we continue this video, have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If you haven't, kindly touch the subscribe button and tap the bell icon to get a notification for the next time we drop one of our interesting videos. The fact, okay, God, he's been living with seven women. Okay, fine, let's get seven women in this video and put them in scantily clad clothes and I, I will be as decadent as possible. Then what, what mud can you... With that done, let's continue with 10 quick important facts about Janice Dyson 1. Janice Dyson and John McAfee got married in 2013 after he had hired and paid for her services as an escort in 2012. 2. Janice mentioned that she had to provide information to criminals who wanted to rob and kidnap her husband in the early years of their marriage. 3. On Father's Day in 2021, she tweeted that, the US authorities are determined to have John die in prison. 4. Her husband, John McAfee, once shared a tweet saying he had about 47 children, 61 grandchildren, 19 great-grandchildren, and that he had never seen any of his grandchildren. 5. John McAfee helped Janice reconnect with her son again after eight years. 6. Janice wished her husband a happy Father's Day on the 20th of June 2021, about two days before his demise. She tweeted, though you are spending the day in prison, know you are loved and appreciated. 7. Hashtag free John McAfee was the tag on most of her posts to and for John as she rallied for the law to release her husband, Janice used the hashtag. 8. John's detention time in prison is the longest he stayed away from his wife, Janice. 9. She blames the U.S. authorities for her husband's demise and once said publicly, I blame the U.S. authorities for this tragedy. Because of these politically motivated charges against him, my husband is now dead. 10. Janice is not a celebrity. Therefore, there is not much info about her online. Furthermore, her relationship with John McAfee is what brought her to the limelight of social media. With that, let's take a look at some of the things we know about her. Janice was born to her parents in 1983 in Guatemala. There is no information about her childhood and education. Also, information regarding her past life, parents, and academic background is not in the media yet. However, we found that she later moved to Florida, where she worked squarely as a call girl. Just as there aren't any records about Janice's academic qualifications, there also isn't any detail telling of her serving in any organization. She was allegedly a victim of human trafficking, and she worked as an escort in South Beach, Florida, before she met her husband McAfee, who she said saved her from slavery and human trafficking. While there is not much info on her, her husband is a different matter. I've been incarcerated many times. Well, there was one exception when I was incarcerated for stupidity, but other than that, <laughs> it's civil disobedience because I believe we get to do with our bodies as we choose. The, the liberty John McAfee was a British American computer programmer and a businessman. Furthermore, he unsuccessfully pursued the Libertarian Party presidential ticket twice. First was in 2016 and the second time was in 2020. In 1987, he wrote the first commercial antivirus software and founded McAfee Associates to trade his creation. Janice and John McAfee married in 2013. They met in 2012 when he was hurriedly exiting Guatemala on the runaway from homicide accusations. John picked her up from Miami Beach and hired her as an escort for the day and night. Fortunately, that day and night they spent together turned out to be the special ones for the duo, and they developed an instant relationship and got along very well. They started courting that year and tied the knot the next year. They lived in Lexington, Tennessee. The age difference between Janice and John is about 37 years. While Janice Dyson is 39 years old as of 2022, her late husband was 75 years old before his demise. He was born in 1945 and used to celebrate his birth anniversary on the 18th of September every year. Janice always saw John as always disarmingly lovely. People mentioned rumors about Janice's involvement in the kidnap plan of John McAfee. Sources say she colluded with her former associate, Delmaria Kamani Crutchfield, 
to rob and kidnap him. Though they prepared well for their plan, in the end, McAfee's ample security had him covered and protected. After the incident, she denied any involvement in the kidnapping plan and further explained that instead, she tried to protect McAfee by giving him hints. After they married, Dyson spoke of how grateful she was to McAfee because he saved her from the violent pimp and trafficking heads she was under. In an interview with a media house, she said about her knight in shining armor, it was, I don't know how to say it, magical because he saw the hurt there. She also said, he thought I was worthy enough of a second chance. Furthermore, her husband John has spoken highly of their special connection as well. I instantly saw what I had been looking for my entire life in Janice, he was once quoted as saying. On the 3rd of October 2020, the Spanish police took McAfee into custody at the Barcelona International Airport before he boarded a flight to Istanbul. He had been on the run from Belize authorities, who were trying to tie him to the murder of his 54-year-old next-door neighbor, Gregory Fowl, in 2012. After his arrest, the judge ordered that he should be kept in jail while they awaited the aftermath of a hearing on the extradition. The American law and authorities found him wanting for tax-related crime charges, which carried a prison sentence of up to 30 years. Janice also appeared to be quite uncomfortable about his detention. On the 14th of December 2020, Janice shared a tweet mentioning that she'll continue to fight for his freedom. The Mosos de Squadra, the autonomous police force of Catalonia, confirmed a report in El Paris on Wednesday the 23rd of June 2021, confirming that McAfee died in prison. The prison security discovered his body in his cell. Although the prison officers and medics did their best to save his life, unfortunately, he didn't make it. The incident occurred just a few hours after the country's national court approved his extradition to the US. The judicial staff dispatched investigators to the prison, and investigations started immediately. The authorities say that he had died of apparent suicide, but others believe that someone masterminded the entire incident. Most of the doubts were raised because of several of his tweets before he passed. One time, he said, there is much sorrow in prison, disguised as hostility. The sorrow is visible even in the angriest face. I'm old and content with food and a bed but for the young, prison is a horror a reflection of the mind of those who conceived them. He tweeted again on the 16th of June 2021, saying, the US believes I have hidden crypto. I wish I did, but it has dissolved through the many hands of Team McAfee, your belief is not required, and my remaining assets are all seized. My friends evaporated through fear of association. I have nothing, yet, I regret nothing. He is described as an extremely paranoid person because, according to him, everyone was out to get him. McAfee was afraid of the government, and he accused them of seizing his properties and mysteriously destroying them after. He was also afraid of the Mexican cartel as well. Throughout the entire ordeal, Janice believes that John has always steadfastly upheld his innocence. She alleges that he is the victim of a conspiracy by the Belizean government, which she believes is governed by the Sinaloa Alliance, a criminal syndicate. Janice has two sons and one daughter, aged between 14, 15, and 17. Her husband once married a woman named Judy, but they separated in 2002. She is on popular social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and so on. She is at T-H-E-E-M-R-S McAfee on Twitter and has 75.2K followers. On Facebook, she is Janice McAfee and has about 142 followers. Her husband's Twitter handle is at official McAfee. She shares posts in line with her belief that McAfee did not pass by suicide but by conspiracy. Janice Dyson's net worth is presently under review and is therefore unavailable. However, she gathered a massive amount of money as the wife of John McAfee, whose net worth at the time of his death rounds up at an estimate of about $4 million. Before his ordeal began, John McAfee was a billionaire. Netflix is running with the devil as a documentary of John McAfee that starts streaming on August 24th. According to the details on the platform, it is unlike other documentaries that you may have seen recently. It is more of a revelation than a telling or narrative. He had a journalist with him during his run and was able to get most of what he did on camera. We can't wait to watch this one and already, the reminder is set. Poison. We all make mistakes. It's getting crazier and crazier. Are there some quick facts you feel like we missed? 
Please let us know in the comment section below and check out this other recent clip from Cydamex Entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.